the tube silage project was introduced with the aim of developing cheap and convenient conservation technologies for smallholder farmers. The overall purpose was to alleviate the problem of fluctuating milk supply and to help the farmers achieve a constant income throughout the year. In Kenya, the milk production fluctuates with the seasons. During the wet season, there is a surplus of forage, and during the dry season, there is a low production of milk. This affects the farmers as their income fluctuates and they go into losses. The approach that was used was first of all meeting farmers in different forums and they were asked, what are your problems as far as milk production is concerned? And they would say our problems are we don't have enough feed materials, sometimes we have scarce, and that's what would say the animals are of poor quality and uh, feeding became problem number one. Tube silage is a form of feed conservation used for small amounts of fodder, which farmers can conserve and use during the dry season when food is scarce. The tube silage is very simple. It does not require lots of machinery or big machinery. A farmer with a panga can be able to do that. And also the amount of material required to ensile is available even to the small scale farmers. And um, the other inputs required to make this silage are not many. You require a tube, molasses, and labor. We are mixing molasses water mixture. That, that mixture of molasses and water in the ratio of one is to three. We have put into the napier, which is chopped. Then we have mixed with our hearts. The chopped napier is then compacted into polythene tubes and stored. Silage will be ready in 28 days, but can be stored for up to four to five years. The tube silage project was funded by MATF with Landolex as the lead partner. The project was implemented in collaboration with the Ministry of Agriculture and Fisheries, the Kenya Agricultural Research Institute, and other stakeholders like the farmers. Landolet's role in the project was to train trainers who would go out there in the field and train other trainers and also farmers on the technology of tube silage making. My role has been to train farmers on different livestock development aspects. I'm a trained trainer of trainers on silage making both above ground and polythene tube silage. I've now trained 120 farmers yeah, who are undergoing the, the same technology. I fight them in their farms, but I meet them as groups, not individuals. So even when we are going to train the farmers on silage making, we train a group of them. So when you train a group of 20 farmers, a few of them will take up the technology and the gospel spreads because there are others who are not in the training and they will run from those who, who now go and adopt the technology in their farms. The, the tube silage is addressing one of the major needs of the dairy farmers, that is availability of feeds during the dry season. And it's because of this reason that the farmers felt that it was unavoidable to take up this technology because it is going to solve one of their major problems. We have to go so, ma so many kilometers fighting for the majani for our cows. So when we have like this season, it is very much an advantage to us if we take what we are taught today. So it saves our time it saves our money and our animals are healthier. They even enjoy it because it is mixed with molasses, which is sweeter. They're even able to, to eat a lot. And our, um, our shamba boys or us, whoever is working on those animals, and saves time and even energy because it is only getting from the store and putting on the trees.
By feeding the animal with the tube silage, we have seen the production is constant throughout the year and even the body conditions, the animal body conditions are extremely good. Before silage, I used to sell only 40 kilograms of milk a day. Now, I'm selling 80 kilograms of milk a day. At the earlier stages, there were some difficulties because the chopping of the material was intensive and they required some form of machinery like the chaff cutters and most farmers did not have money to buy such machinery. But with time, they are seeking for loans and buying these machineries. We have a chaff cutter and it is very helpful to us because it is machinery and it saves our time, energy, and, and so forth. There are times we normally have electricity problems and we don't have generator. So when there, when there is no electricity and work has to go on, we have to use pangas. That is manual, manual, manual work has to continue during that time. When we are not using the chaff cutter, we normally, we normally spend about five hours. But a chafkata would only spend not more than 45 minutes. Overall, the tube silage project has been a huge success within the small-scale farming communities. Approximately 300 farmers in Kiambu and Nakuru districts have been reached by the technologies, resulting in a 26.5% adoption rate. During the dry season, farmers were not producing as much milk and they were spending a lot of money going for commercial feeds and other forms of feeds like hay. But with the uptake of this technology, there is availability of feed in the form of silage during the dry season and the farmers are making more money during this time. I will not be getting so much or just tied with so many things. So I'll be having time to go to another place. Whether I get Kibarua, I'll go and work. If the rest of the community adopt the technology, I can say it's really saving time. The people are not uh, doing the big labor they were doing as before. So the more they will adopt the technology, the more benefit they will have.